And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Joel. Just Joel. Back from around the bend, and this time tumbling to our table are carries from Sog. We Knife. Jason Perry Blade Works. And Kaiser. Really pumped for this week's knives. So let's start off with the Sog Rakondo FX. So there is four options for this guy. All right. Serrated and non, and there's both the Blackout and the FDE or Flat Dark Earth. <laughs> the Flat Earth. Yeah. So this fixed carry is 9.6 inch overall with a 4.6 inch full tang cryo 440C steel blade with black tie-dye coating, clip point style, 0.16 thickness, and is offered in plain edge or partially serrated. Yeah, we got the partially serrated one. Due to these features, this blade has outstanding corrosion and wear resistance. Handle with over molded rubberized grip allows for numerous configurations and is ready for all environments. Handle comes in black or FDE. Hardness for the blade comes to about 58, 59, call it 60 on the HRC scale. Overall, these versatile Rakondo FXs were designed to meet all requirements for uniformed professionals around the world. Not only due to its strength and function, but also because it comes with SOGS. UMS compatible black kydex or FDE kydex sheath. Yeah. That's both ambidextrous and features a toolless tension adjustment for the perfect draw. So get your Ricondo on oh. for just $124.95 from AtlanticKnife.com. All right. All right. Uh, I mean, it's a nice knife. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think it matches up to the Kikus, which I like better, Th or even the Pentagon. Folding knives, the Kikus. No, they have fixed blades too. Oh, that's right. Um, Rikondo. I don't know. Kind of. I mean, I like the case. I like the case. I like the sheath. It's Jeez. very nice and it's very durable. You can tell by the metal use on the back that uh, mm -hmm. you won't have an issue breaking this sucker. But Rikondo. at this price point, it kind of reminds me of one of the Gerbers. It does remind me of a strong arm, but I feel like you're going to have that eventually because there's so many, so many different ways. You mean throw an end on the name? Ricondo. It's not a Rico, Recon, it's a Ricondo. It's Ricondo. No, I just meant you're going to have some similarities. They do put some jimping on the top of the handle mm -hmm. too, which I like. So in case you don't want to use the blade, you can use the spine on there. Mm -hmm. Overall, I have to say this is a good sturdy fixed blade. To be honest, that's never really been a problem for SOG. I do think having one of these in Civic Blue would not have hurt because <laughs> it's, you know, non-uniform professionals who don't need something to fit in with camo would like the Civic Blue. It's just, just a little tip. And I have to say, other than that, it's got great grip, good size, good, good uh, sheath. The steel, 440C, I mean, it's obviously better with the cryo heat treatment. Mm -hmm. Before the treatment, it's kind of like a 58 on the RC, but after, it's like 61. So, obviously, it's going to hold a much better edge, but I feel like treating 440C should be like an industry standard by now. If they had left it untreated, it definitely wouldn't have been able to live up to those uniform professional performance expectations. Yeah, I don't think you should feel like it should be a standard. It is a standard. It, sh it should be. Mm -hmm. It should be. So, I, I feel like they should, you know account for that. I think it's a good addition to Sog's lineup though. It's good. Well, what should we expect from Sog? Mm -hmm. I guess is where it's at. So, alright. Next blade is the ooh, Kaiser Mini Roach. I'm excited. <laughs> Which, I can't believe it hasn't been done yet, by the way, too. So, two options. OD Green and Blackout. We have the Blackout one here. Mm -hmm. This folder is 7.13 inch overall. That's not many. That's standard over at Sabibi. With a 2.99 inch drop point 154 cm blade. Starting yep. to like it. Mm -hmm. Plain edge, 0.11 thick. Not bad. Yep. Blade finish on the blackout is black stone wash. While the green one has a satin finish. Blade is open with a jumped flipper or thumb hole. Hold on. I'm waiting. Try there to go, go slow this week. Okay. Handle is G10. Ugh. And features a tip up black pocket clip. I was all in. 
It's G10. I'm a, you, I mean, you want micarta? Is that what you want? Or titanium? Well, after you you talk, I will... Uh, okay, so designed by Matt Degnam. This liner lock. Degnam. Yeah, go ahead. Degnam. Mm-hmm. You dig a line. I'll dig a hole. Okay. Okay. This liner hole. lock weighs just 3.79 ounces and comes with a G10 pivot cap with matching gemmed backspacer. Another plus, it is only $75 on right. LandKnife.com. All right, I'm going to go first. I think this has a very interesting design, especially from Kaiser. The honeycomb pattern reminds me a lot of like a honey badger, but that's this one's flat and those are kind of like raised. Mm -hmm. I also like the look, but I feel like I'm more of an original roach gal. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I might like the original just, just a little more. You like your roaches a little bit longer, don't you? Yeah, and I like All the right. titanium. So, here's where I'm at. Yeah. I do have a titanium roach. I do not really like it as much as I like the regular roach with G10. Mm. Now, I believe when it came out, and that's been about ooh, seven years maybe, it was $81. Okay, so we're in a good price range still for 75, this 75, 154 cm. But what has happened over the years with me on Kaiser is I now don't really like the G10. I like the Micarta More. and the Rich Light and oh, I do like the all rich them light. other things. And if they would have just took this roach and put some, like some blue Rich Light scales, yeah, or green awesome. Micarta or anything, I don't know, blue G10's blue cool. um, blue jean linen, that would have worked great. I would have been like. Man, I want this thing. Sign I mean, me I up. like it now. Oh, the rich light would have looked good on this. But I'm not sure it needs like the thumb a hole. K. I like the thumb hole. Original one doesn't have a thumb hole. We can make um, it a little different. But I probably end up getting one anyway. I like the thumb hole. It gives good design. That was a long way yeah. to a short, short distance. It was. So next is the Wee Knife QX. So only six options. Only six? Right now. What in the world right is going now. on over way? I know. So, there's regular black, blackout, green, gray, blue, and, of course, there's always a Damascus one. There's got to be a Damascus. There always has to be one. So, we have the regular black one here with us. Anyways, this latest button, button lock from Wii is 7.11 inches overall with a 2.97 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade with flat grind, jimping, which is about 0 0.13 inches thick. And comes to about fifty nine sixty one on the HRC. Wow. Yeah, I know. Blade is deployed oh, with either a gym, just tried to line or lock it. <laughs> flipper, dual thumb stud, or hold on, hold on. Button lock. Sweet no. Operates on Kate Strank Bob Bearing System. This folder has a six AL four B titanium handle, mm -hmm. screws, reversible tip up pocket clip. All of them titanium. Yes. Handle comes in various color options as we mentioned. Lastly, Finish on this bad boy varies from knife to knife, of course. Most have gray stone wash, but they're also a black stone wash and a blackout one. Each comes with a pouch. Pooch. Yep. A cleaning cloth. Sorry, Matt. What? what? Oh, I must have left it in there. I'm pretty sure it's a cleaning cloth. It has it. So, pouch, cleaning cloth, and there's a sticker in there, too. Mm. So, <laughs> each comes with the pouch, the cleaning cloth, and it's just $216.75. From a landknife.com. Ding. Okay. What do you think of this? You can go first. What do I think of it? Well, as previously mentioned to you, mm -hmm. I actually like it except there's one small issue. Oh, you really? Yeah, it's watched. See? Okay. You got to time your button lock release or it pops back out a little bit. You got to nail that sucker. And I can't get it now. Hey, there you go. So I guess once you learn to you do it... you got to have a little skill is what he's arguing. He said he doesn't want to have it skill. It actually fro flows too freely on the pivot. Can you believe that? I know, I know. Wow. You could put that up in the wind. <laughs> in a blow yeah, rail. Yeah, wow. In a blow rail. Okay. Well, I like it. I mean, Wii's button locks are never disappointments. Great mm -hmm. materials, good opening options. Hand reminds me a touch of the, the kite fin. Mm -hmm. Could the line through the middle. But the kite fin is one of my favorite knives from Wii. Yep. So can't really be too disappointed. I mean, we know Wii's price tag on anything with titanium and high-end steel is always, you know, a little high, but I still give it an A. I give it an A. Let's just say they have a chart. They do. Okay. Oh, and I like the different colored hardware. That way it fit, stands out a little more. I like that. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So, our next knife on the table is the Jason Perry Blade Works model 206J EDC Hunter. 
Not bushcraft. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe as well as... Ring the bell. Mm -hmm. That way you're notified when we release new videos and announce giveaway info. You'll automatically get entered into said giveaways, which happen to be ending and starting today. So, Shield and Month has come to a close. Yeah. Mm. Our month-long event of giving away a shield and knife every week on Facebook or Instagram has expired. Mm. So today we are announcing the winner of the final knife, the Tranchodon. The lucky winner of this Damascus bladed carry is a lady. Oh, she's a lady. Alexa Osborne. I want to say congratulations. Make sure to email salesandlanth.com to claim your knife. There it is. And if you're not here watching, well, that's a problem. Well, we'll also announce the winner on Facebook and Instagram just to make sure, you know. Yeah. All right. So, with the end of Shielden Month, yep. we decided you guys still deserved a chance to win something. So, for the next couple of weeks, we'll be hosting the Everything But a Medford giveaway. Includes everything but a Medford. Just Joel. What does this giveaway pack include? Glad you asked, see? Well, I realized we had a lot of merch around the warehouse from various partners, and I thought instead of passing it out to the employees, since I'm sure they've already mooched off some and got any, got some anyway, camera girl, <laughs> that our eight carers would like to partake in all the cool stuff. So, starting today, we are giving away, be ready, it's a lot, various knife brand stickers, plus a Wii hat, a Civivi hat, a tour hat, I know. A finch hat. A wee knife tool and patch. Didn't take the wee tool out, but it's in this little box. A tools for gents. Rule number knife nine here. You want to see? There you go. Plus a little tools for gent patch. A best tech carabiner. An artisan cleaning cloth. A Reich flight tag. Not sure. I guess I haven't figured out what exactly why it's called a flight tag. A Bacchanelli patch, a Duke Duke patch, Duke, an Duke. Ultra X Cobra, which I also didn't take out of the box next time, and the best part, a specialty AK t-shirt, much like mine. Yeah. Or exactly like mine. You forgot my mother-in-law's broom. Oh, well, I thought she needed that, so. Oh, I thought we were going to slow her down. Unless you want to personalize with C's and my signature. You can. Who doesn't want that? So. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I don't know. This is so much stuff. I know. I know. <sighs> wow. It's a great giveaway. Right. So you enter that by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing on this episode or the next one. All as right. well as answering the AK trivia question on AK's blog. Yes. Alright. AK's blog. Okay. Blog. So we're going back to the table. We're on the Jason Perry Blade Works EDC Hunter. Mm, yep. You know what's funny? Mm -hmm. I talked to Jason Perry today. Did you? Yeah, he called to tell me that uh, he responded to your email. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I that's realized good. about Jason Perry. He does good business practices by returning people's emails in a timely manner. We're going to let that marinate a little bit. Returns All right. people's emails. Now, what I was thinking is, and I don't say this very often because you know what I say most times when I talk to somebody. He reminds me of a West Coast me. A West Coast you. Yeah, a conversation went like West this. Coast you he's like, a yeah, you more want, tan? He's like, you want to buy some knives? I'm like, yeah, I'll buy some knives. He's like, okay, I got some knives. You want to get them? Yeah. I'll tell you what, send me an email. I'll shoot you an email. Where are you at? I think it's like sales or something. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, talk later, bro. Talk to you later, bro. Yep. You do use bro a lot. And that was it. Oh, actually, you use brother. He doesn't use That was bro. a contract and a handshake. You use brother. You're like, all right, brother. All we right. don't need to do any more than that. If we can't talk, what well, we got to be like, pardon me. Do you have a contract that we can discuss? It's time to have some contingencies. I mean, you know. Uh, you don't need I to do get all it. that I stuff. I get it. Uh, well, and he e returns emails in a timely manner. Called, too. He called, too. I know. Follow wow. Followed up with you. That's nice. I know. All right, here we go. Okay. So this blade is nine inches overall. With a four and a half inch black powder coated Puko style 1095 <laughs> HC blade. Jumping, flat grind, and plain edge. This fixed blade is on top of all those tasks that you need done while still looking sharp. Well, pun intended. Nice. With a Jewel Jade G10 circle pattern scales, carry features lanyard hole and black Kydex sheath with belt clip. There it is. Yep. Made in the USA. This knife is just 126 from AtlanticKnife.com. Where All else? Right. 
You go ahead. You go first. Where else would you get it Oh, wait. From? You need the knife first. Ugh. All right. Anyway. Here's where I'm at with this. Let me show you something. One is a nice knife made in the USA for $126. The other is a knife. Yeah, I don't see the Made in the USA it's, label. I think it's Taiwan. I oh, think. Taiwan. I think so. Soon to be China. Um, oh, that's nice. Is that what is that what their other name is called? Yeah. It's like artist People's formerly Republic. known as Prince. <laughs> get, give it a couple. Get, give our president a little bit of time. Huh. All right, here we go. So, which would you have for 126? I think it's pretty obvious. Which is I'm it gonna. that obvious? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, I tell you, you know. Jewel jade. I mean, I like the sheath over here. Don't get me wrong. I do too. But I this is like a it. nice knife. I have everything that he has sent here. I'm like, wow, that's pretty nice. Wow, that's nice. I mean, even this kind. Remember when we look at these sheaths? I don't know if he's got a guy downtown who makes his sheaths, but they are tight from the from the beginning to the end. I mean, it's tight now. Look, look at this. Look how well molded it is. He's got a little place for the, the bolt when it goes in there. You see it? it you mean, you know what? What, that? what else say, can you say yeah, about that? I have to say, Jason Perry is knocking it out of the park. Each and I'd fix rather blade, buy something yeah. from him then. Yeah. Well, each one he's released, I see it easily usable for more than one task. They're well made. And they're different enough from each other that I would consider getting more than one. Made in the USA. Big plus. Mm -hmm. Jewel Jade, excellent choice, Mr. Perry, excellent choice. Mm -hmm. A++ plus plus on that one for me. It's just so nice. Look at it. Look at that. Plus, like I think sometimes circling. you forget. Yeah. You know, help a brother out. He's a good guy. I don't know the people that saw Well, You know why I don't know him? Because they don't return emails in a timely manner. They ain't got time for me. Well, that's true. Time for my money, but not for me. Time for the bus. Well, I get to spend it. I get to claim the money because I, sp I actually spend it. Somewhere between. Yeah. I wish it. The 40 second. Find it. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. does lead us to the next and last folder on the table for this week All the right. Wee Knife Speedster. All right, so this knife comes in four different options blue, gray, blackout, and of course, Damascus. Yeah, it's like a token model they do. I think you can say that. We have the what? blue. It is a token. It's like they always have to include that one. Mm -hmm. All right. I do love the One of my blue, favorite though. South Park characters, I might add. That's great. Mm -hmm. Just just do this. So, things. it's 7.89 inch overall with a 3.47 inch CPM. Crucible? What was that again? <laughs> Par uh, I can't remember. 20 CV steel folding Crucible blade. Crucible particle metallurgy. That's what it was, yeah. Flat grind, jimping, and opened via jimped flipper tab. There it is. Operating on cage strength ball bearings. This frame lock also has a 6AL4V titanium handle, screws, tip up reversible pocket clip. Handle color and blade finish vary from option to option. This model has a silver bead blasted finish. Uh, the blackout has a black what, stone wash. Mm -hmm. And there's also a Damascus blade version, of course. Each comes with a sticker, cloth, and pouch, starting at only $229.50 from AlanaKnife.com. Mm -hmm. I'm going first. Okay, so I have to say, I think I like the, the Culex a little better, simply because I can open it with, you know, like multiple options. I can do this, or if I'm just sitting there, I can do the whole... Something to play with. Yeah. Yeah. And... I also like the little like nod to the kite fin. I know I usually don't like it when companies recycle designs, but I like it this time. Sue me. Well, yeah, the kite fin was in very short demand. It kind of came. Yeah, and they didn't, like, didn't really bring no. it back. I liked that knife. I do think this model is a little sturdier, a little larger uh, than this one. Mm -hmm. Very simple, but clean design, and I really love the blue. It looks good, cuts well. What do you think? I'm in the same ballpark. I mean, look, we do Wii's all the time, and yep. same thing. I mean, it's a nice knife. It's nothing really outstanding about it, but I mean, it is a nice knife. Nice titanium handle. I'm sure it'll work just fine. I can't I really take like every single one out and test it, or I'd be testing 300 of them. But can't go wrong. If you like it, you like it. All right. You like it, you like it. Okay, that was the final knife. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring the bell so you're automatically entered in giveaways, as well as linked. To the greatest knife and outdoor gear source in all of the world. All creation. Right here. We're hosting the Everything by the Medford giveaway right now. 
on both YouTube. The YouTube. The YouTube. And AK's blog. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Rumble. So check us out on those for giveaways, knife photos, AK deals, and more. All right. Favorite knife on the table. Favorite knife on the table. Yep. Jason Perry Blade Works. That is not cool. Jade Jewel. I talked to him. All right. You fine. just got an email. I, I emailed first. You did? Yeah. And on my day off, might I add. That's right. My favorite, I guess, since I'm not going to go with the same one, I'll probably go with the Culex, the Wii Culex. You can go with the same one. Mm -hmm. you, you, might, you might take this one. There you go. Thank you. I'll do mini roach. You're going to do mini roach? Yep. Really? There you go. Because I like the roach, actually, probably one of my top three knives of all time. Really? Yeah, I had a roach wow. and I, 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 saw, I let it go. And then I was like, I'm getting it back as no. soon as I can. And it took a long time for me to actually get one back, but I got one back. So, And I got a titanium one, too. Back streets, back. I might let right. it go back, too. I Picture C, freeze frame with the roach. All right, go ahead. That's it for this week. As always, I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel, and we are signing off.